Napoleon's journey. A story that takes us back to the 16th century, into the extraordinary life of St. Ignatius of Leona. Today, we invite you to embark on a journey of transformation and discovery as we witness the evolution of a young nobleman into a spiritual pioneer who influence still resonates in our world. Before we begin, we encourage you to sit forward in your seats and immerse yourself fully in this captivating tale. Allow yourself to drown into the sights, sounds and emotions of Ignatius work as we unravel the story of courage, faith and redemption. May you find inspiration in the incredible journey of a man who changed not only himself, but the world around him.
after a vexing dream of his beloved Saint Ignatius was in frustration. He didn't know what he wanted in life. But like all holy men, Saint Ignatius turned to knowledge. He read the life of various saints, but he was greatly influenced by the life of Saint Francis. After gaining the knowledge, Saint Ignatius questioned his own life. He questioned his life choices and his decisions. But once he was greatly influenced by the teachings of Saint Francis, he understood the meaning of his own life. How? How do you do all this? You are asking me the wrong question, my child. You should have asked me, why am I doing this? I am just following the path of my Lord Jesus Christ. Come closer, my child. Let me break it for you. Compared to eternal blessings and boundless joys the heaven offers, the material positions and the fleeting pleasures of this world hold little value and are scarcely worth our attention. But, but I'm just a musical dot in front of you. Your level of patience, your dedication is much higher than mine. <laughs> it's not about my patience or dedication, but it's about our Lord or God who is great. This is the path I have chosen for myself. The path of Jesus Christ. Saint Ignatius gave up his love. He gave up his family. He gave up all his worldly possessions in the care of Saint Mary. He gave up his knightly sword. He did so, so that he can become a true servant of our Lord Christ. Not only that, he also gained knowledge 
in philosophy and theology. But every wise man in this world need loyal companions. They need loyal companions to build a base on which they can make a solid building. Saint Ignatius wasn't lucky in the beginning, but faith, faith is what makes you strong. And therefore, our Lord blessed him with loyal companions. And these are the loyal companions that built the society of Jesus. your companions can I have a word with you. I would like to ask a question if you want to follow this life of filth and sin or follow me and come in the path of Christ. I insist everyone to join me to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. After a long period of trying to convince and influence his friends about the path of God, they all agreed to follow the spiritual life that St. Ignatius preached. I, Peter Faber, Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Sergio, Alfonso Sanmara, Nicholas Mabrida, Dia Colinus, Simon Rodriguez, we make our vows of poverty and chastity in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the day we've all been waiting for. Pope Paul the Third has approved us as part of the Society of Jesus by religious order of the Church. This is the day that we have been afraid of. This is the day Saint Ignatius is about to leave this world and become one with our Lord in heaven. Saint Ignatius has had a long and fruitful life. He has had a life filled with love filled with sorrows, filled with graces and sins. This man has given his all for the church and for our Lord. Even now in his deathbed, he 
sees the Lord in all you Jesuits. He points at the crucifix, showing his love for our Lord with all his heart. <coughs> Even at this moment, he prays for the soul of you all. O oh, Saint Ignatius, he falls asleep and his soul leaves his body and enters heaven. O oh, Saint Ignatius, may the Lord bless you. May you be in heaven.